Now, who else is there to speak to? I don't think I have to help her. It says secondary objective. Uh, I guess I should speak to him. Stop it! Go away! What don't you understand? Pawn 7 is dead because of you, and I don't want to be next. Oh, for Christ's sake, what? I had nothing to do with Matthew's death, if that's what you're still pestering me about. I'm just going to give him the silent treatment. Oh, so it's a game you're playing, huh? Fine. I truly hope you're satisfied because I'm done talking. I don't use the P word that often, but will you please leave me alone now? <clears throat> Farewell, my lovely. I wonder what it was like for authors in 1940. Well, I already know what Farewell, my lovely is. No point in checking it out. Sorry, nope, I can't talk. I need to concentrate. Bishop. If you have another minute. Hey, I wanted to ask you Are you, you ready to experience how tables can be turned? You're dreaming all day. Sure, what's on your mind? It was about the Guardian Church. I was only wondering what your affiliation is, if any. Are you a member? No, of course not. Never. Why do you say, of course not? I can't trust them. And neither should you. You cannot trust them? They have an estimated billion members worldwide. I take it you mean that you cannot trust someone within the church. Malcolm Thomas. More specifically, Malcolm Thomas. I don't remember who Malcolm Thomas is. Um. Right, and more specifically, Malcolm Thomas. From the Newswire. We all know the name. He's spoken out against a consortium for a few years now. Is his stance on the Consortium your reason for this mistrust? He tried to kill the King. Hmm. If you are indeed telling the truth, this is not a matter you should be discussing with me. I suppose, then, I will let you return to work. I truly hope that you and I can become... friends. Since you're here, Bishop, both Palm 1 and 7 were good men. I really wish you'd have gotten the chance to know them better. And for what it's worth, Palm One's anger toward you was rather misguided. I think we all knew that. And now he's a dead. Yeah. Well, as Adele would say, c'est la vie. <clears throat> so I'm told the bishop here has been tasked with investigating Pond Seven. I'm assuming he has some questions he'd like to ask us, don't you, Bishop? Hmm? Really? Hmm. Oh. Let's get it over with then. Ask away. Mm, no, we're good. Well, good. That settles it then. Oh, one moment. I would actually like to know why you've been uh, given this a task. To interrogate everyone, I mean. Uh, you, you don't even know any of us. W what good are you to judge? Hey, my orders are my business. Back off. The man is just following orders, okay? Can we get back to our game now? I'm sorry, Kendra, but I don't think I can play after all. Something has put me in a foul mood. I think I will go back to work. There's a plenty to go through from the London to tea asset pack. I should have warned you. He's got a pretty decent temper. I guess I'll join him, get some work done. It's probably best if you just lay off for a while. Let him cool down. Let's see if I'm going to speak to him. Nope. Now, who's there left to talk to? Actually, yeah, who is there left to talk to? Do I have to do some of the secondary objectives? Just to speak with the crew. Hmm. Hey there, Bishop. Hello. Is she the one that likes me the most? Oh my god, she, well, okay, she likes me as much as Mika, or Micah, but, uh, yeah, I'm almost 
The person who loves me or likes me the most is the traitor. Oh my god, I'm minus 28 with Alana Boyle. Ouch. Minus 9 with Gary Ma, but who cares? He's dead. I can't speak with them. Oh, I need to do the secondary objectives. In fact, I think I do. Mm, what about Wade? Wait, okay, what about you? You see, like, I swear you bugged out. I know I could talk to her before. Ouch. Damn it, Zed. Don't touch her there, I get it. Blimey. Stop that, Wade. Hello, B. I'm down in Lower Avionics trying to repair this bloody ship's automated defenses. And big surprise, she isn't cooperating. Oh, and I can't unlock the hatch, so don't ask. Safety protocols and all that. Ow! Oh, if she doesn't start cooperating, I'm gonna pour a drink all over her main board. I love you too, Wade. <laughs> anyway, try not to get your kitty snort all over my buttons and switches. And stay out of my chair. Sorry, Bishop. I know you're busy, but I would appreciate it if you'd stop by Global Ops for just a few minutes. The Queen would like to speak with you. There's no immediate rush, whenever you're able. Okay, good. That advanced it. <laughs> hey, now. Did I say you could sit in my throne? Well, since you're already sitting, how'd you like it? Pretty comfy, isn't it? I don't have a sense of touch. <laughs> right. Not quite sure what to do with that information, so, uh... Ah, come on, Zen! Stop doing that! <clears throat> How about, uh, we pretend like you never saw that, okay? Oh, boy, God. I can't believe I left it on. And if the boss ever finds out you did see it, she'll likely kill us both. So between us, yeah? <sighs> and do your best not to touch anything else. You're likely to crush the bloody plane with your luck. So, let's talk about this Zen, your imaginary friend. <laughs> oh, very funny. So you heard that, did you? <laughs> and Zen isn't imaginary. She's this ship. <laughs> well, I guess that doesn't sound any less crazy, does it? Not really. You're sort of a nutcase, aren't you? Well, yes, B. Of course I'm nuts. It's probably why the king loves me. He's bloody nuts himself. <laughs> in a fun way, that is. Not like in a Skynet sort of way or anything. Nuts enough to go after Night 15? Ah, uh, no, B. There's nothing going on between us. That video was filmed over a year ago and was, well, it was after a particularly difficult day and a few glasses of wine. A few too many glasses, it seems. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. And we didn't have sex, if that's your next question. Liar. <laughs> Do you honestly think for one second that I would lie about something like that? You are really underestimating my childish. <laughs> Let's hear it then. What happened that day? You can tell me. You really want to hear the story? Because I'll tell you if you want to hear it. Oh wait, I've actually already heard it, right? I think I have. Eh, I'm sure it's on the info console. Oh, ouch. You take the bloody info council over my famous Aussie bardic abilities? <laughs> eh, I understand though, mate. Machine wins this round. So, you and Night 15 look pretty good together. <laughs> I like to think so. Uh, again, though, uh, that video stays between us, yeah? You two got pretty hammered, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. What the? And we didn't have sex, if that's your next question. Oh no, I'm stuck in a loop. Uh, different subject, please. <laughs> Am I making you uncomfortable? All right, well, back to work. If I don't get this thing fixed soon, we could be in a world of hurt when another Angeloff decides to drop in and say hi. And these bloody glitches sure aren't making things any easier. I could suggest it could be a virus. No, my lips are sealed. We'll talk more later, yeah? I shouldn't be too much longer. Down here! Oh, Christ! <laughs> uh oh. Oh, oh, bugger. 
She's really pissed off now. 915 on Route 25. One of you need to shut down power to lower avionics immediately. She's got a mind of... Wait. Come in, Route 9. What is going on? Okay, better make a hard save here. Route 13, I want you and Pawn 24 in lower avionics on the double. Sir, the door is not responding. Let me try remotely. Oh! Remote door controls are not functioning, and neither are maintenance access points. Well, figure it out! Now! What the hell? The hatch door from lower avionics to the cockpit has just unlocked itself! Six. That means you're up. Enter lower avionics from the cockpit and get weighed out of there. It looks as though Rukhnai's vitals are decreasing. Whatever is happening in there, it's getting worse. Could I actually let Wade die? God, but he's so nice! Oh, and he freaking loves me too. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna hang out here. <clears throat> sorry, Wade. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. What are you doing, Six? Yeah, just lounging around. Comfortable seat? Hmm. Nice movement, too, back and forth. Nice and smooth. What about this one? Oh, I can't sit in it. I don't know what the bishop's problem is, but I'll handle it. Stand fast, Alana. Without a BUS, you'll only meet the same fate as Wade. Six, where the hell are you? <coughs> Rook 9 is nearing death. We must do something now. Bishop Six, I should not need to remind you what your job is around here. Get to the cockpit and into that bloody hatch! Oh my god, I feel horrible. How how can they not just like put me in the brig after this? Rook Nine will be dead in two minutes' time. Wait a second, I think it's Well I would be damned. The door from the med bay has just opened itself. Are you seeing this, Kieran? Yes. And I can see Rook Nine now. Whatever was happening in here, it must have stopped when the door opened. Minor glitches, my ass. Rook 9 still requires medical attention. I'm going in. Be careful! Failed objective. Oh, well, that was fun. Wade! Are you alright? What happened in there? Oh, my head is bloody well killing me, but I think I'm alright. Thanks to Kieran, anyway. I was just about finished with the repairs to our auto guns when the main battery started surging electricity. Ooh. I guess I must have blacked out after that. Someone is toying with us. Why did the system lock out remote access points and door locks only to kick back in when Wade was about to die? Zen locked you out? Wait, I almost died? According to your MUVI, you were less than two minutes from death. I must insist that you remain in the med bay so I can repair the remaining damage. There's only so much the medical nanites can do. Bloody hell. And now, uh, forget it, Kieran. I've got to get back to the cockpit and finish repairs. Wade, doctor's orders. Forget it. I won't be responsible for not having weapons if we get into another scrap. I'll let Rook 13 prod at me when I'm finished, I promise. So can we talk about the elephant in the room now? These so-called system bugs that have been going unchecked since this morning. I'm still unconvinced there's anything more, to be honest. Whatever just happened down there could easily be attributed to the EMP. There's no telling what kind of residual effects that bloody thing caused. Stop it. Just stop. I have never even considered saying this before to you, but I think you're being an idiot. You're stressed, angry, and you don't want to believe what's right in front of you. I can actually try to convince him it's... there's nothing wrong. Alright, I think Wade knows best, don't you? Did we just fly Zenil through a portal into Crazy Town? She just locked down a room and then proceeded to attack Wade, and you two think that's residual effects from an EMP? <sighs> just figure out this bloody virus and do it now. <clears throat> yes, sir. Consider it done. <clears throat> and to all of you, you may not want to mention this incident to anyone. We don't want to further scare the crew for no good reason. Because holding back information from them was such a good idea last time. Come on, Alana. 
Ease up. No, it's fine. She's right. I admit that I should never have done that with Born 7. But this is different. They are already on edge, and I'd rather not have them start turning on each other. Just do what I say, Alana, please. You're the boss. Hey, Bishop. I just wanted to thank you for siding with me against the boss back there. She did make a good point, though. I can't deny that. Maybe Pawn 19 was right after all. Maybe I am too close to this ship. <laughs> I'm gonna be nice to the guy that I just totally abandoned. It was my pleasure. Night 15 went too far. Maybe she did, maybe not. The point is, you had my back. Thanks. Anyways, mate, I'll let you get back to it. I've got repairs to finish. Right. And six? Don't forget the Queen is still wanting to speak with you in Global Ops. I am surprised Night 15 has not thrown me out an airlock by now. How much does she like me? Eh, not too much. Minus eight. Time to have a chat with the Queen. This is gonna go well. Oh, wrong way. Hey, Six, are you ready to meet with the Queen? Mm-hmm. Here, hang on one moment. Oh, and be forewarned, she doesn't like it when you waste her time. So, choose your words carefully. Don't waste your time. I can do that. Good afternoon to you both. Let's try and keep this quick <laughs> and <laughs> to the point. Bishop Six, first, it's wonderful to finally meet you. The King has been particularly adamant about you. And, of course, he sends his regards and his regrets for not being here. So where do you fit in into the Consortium? Is he serious? You know full well where I fit into the Consortium. Let's not waste anyone's time with inane pleasantries. Okay, fine. No pleasantries. Roger that, boss. Bishop, I have six more meetings after this one, all before your induction ceremony in British Columbia. Can I at least ask what the ceremony will consist of? Nervous around crowds, are you? Most of you are. Well, it'll just be the usual welcome speech from me, handshakes, some food, drinks. Oh, and you'll probably also get to meet the Premier of BC. Just don't look at his hair. I'll do anything, but don't look at his hair. <laughs> Will there be anyone there that I know? Your girlfriend is still attending, isn't she? <laughs> she should have received the plane tickets weeks ago. Wait, I have a girlfriend? It's my boyfriend, actually, and he is coming. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have been misinformed. Well, it's good to know he'll be there, and I'll look forward to meeting him. Now, I wanted to start by expressing my sincerest condolences over what happened to both Pawn 7 and Pawn 1. They were exemplary officers, and I know they will be missed by you and your crew. I trust if a similar situation arises in the future, your bishop will be quicker to react. Right. So, um, about Pawn 7, I wanted to- a -ta -ta -ta. Hold on. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, first. I hear that Wade will make a full recovery, and that is good to hear. The details surrounding what happened in Lower Avionics, however, is for another meeting at another time. So, Bishop Six, the King has managed to trace the takeoff point of Angela's boarding carrier to an airbase outside Adirna, Turkey. Hidden on the servers of this base was a document Angela had apparently written for his men. It detailed one fact of their mission. Bishop Six must die, or someone would kill them and their families. <coughs> In all fairness, Mum, we can't believe anything Carol says or does or talks about doing. Even this document could have been planted for the King to find. Carol is no slouch when it comes to subterfuge. True. And now that he is dead, we will be bringing in his remaining generals for interrogation. I refuse to let the truth behind this attack die with Angelov. But that's not important right now. What is important is to find out why. Why you specifically? Why now? And perhaps 
Who did you go and piss off before joining us? Well, I only have vague theories, and they're a little crazy. Let's hear it. Fine. I'm a traveler from a parallel Earth. Oh boy. I want you to think real hard about what you say next. What? I've come here to help you people. Damn it, Six! What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm going to give you one chance to apologize for wasting our... Uh, actually, you know what? Just cut the crap or Night 15 and I will continue this meeting on a private CMC channel. Are we clear? Apparently we're not clear because you're not listening. <sighs> I've never said this about a single officer in all my time with the Consortium. But I think the King may have made a mistake with your recruitment. It's really rather unfortunate as he speaks so highly of you. So, shall we continue this over the CMC? The Bishop apparently has other things he'd like to be doing. <clears throat> Wait a second. Rook 13 has confirmed what I told you about me. Night 15, do you know what he's talking about? I do not. Speak to Rook 13 if you don't believe me. Go ahead, Taran. Let's humor him. Ask Rook 13. I can wait. Rook 13, I'm here in Global Ops with the Bishop and the Queen. I have rather a strange question for you. I know, sir. I've been watching the meeting through the Bishop's CMC. The answer to your question is that we ran a brain scan on the Bishop, and there is indeed a rather unique oddity occurring within his brain, something I've never seen before. Are you there, Mum? Yes, I am. Go on, Rook 13. What was the oddity? Well, your brain has the equivalent of what would be twice the level of normal synapses firing at any given time. There is no medical explanation for it. And I was waiting to run more tests for you trial. Good. You run more tests and get back to your night. Personally, I have a hard time believing the bishop here isn't just trying to pull one over on all of us and Rook 13's equipment. Thinks he's funny. Uh, bishop 6, you may return to your duties. Night 15, let's continue over the CMC. Yes, ma'am. No problem. And I'm sorry if you feel like I'm overreacting, Bishop, but you must understand that I will not put up with that sort of nonsense. I'll see you in a few hours at the ceremony and try to reflect on what I've said. There is no doubt she's an acquired taste, but she also signs your paycheck. I'll have Wade unlock the civilian defense scenario in the virtual trainer. You can find it across from the galley on the same floor as your cabin. Or rest in your cabin. Eh, I'm just gonna go to sleep. Unless you want to speak to me. Bond 64, Steve? Do you wanna do you wanna speak with me, Steve? Wait, Bishop, hold up a second. Let's have a I chat. Have urgent matter to discuss with you. Okay, let's talk in my cabin. Thank you. We are safe to talk in fun now anyway. I took advantage of the problems we've been having, managed to hack our sensors and disrupt those in this room. I'm really not sure where to start. I barely trust myself right now. Did you just say you've hacked the ship's systems? Yes, yes, but once you hear what I have to say, you understand why I had to do it. I can't trust anybody aboard this ship, Rook 9 and Rook 13 least of all. So go until night 15. But I need your help. That's what you do, isn't that? You help people? But I don't care about your problems. But you're our bishop. At least do me a favor and watch your back. Whatever is going on, I have no doubt that you're at the center of it all. Fine. Forget I bothered you. What a dick. Wasting my time. Are you for real? You're laying down again. Screw off. I don't think so, Bishop. 
Not today of all days. Anyway, you have a nice little nap now. I'll try and remember to wake you up if something happens. Please don't. I'm very tired. Here. It's the virus, I'll bet. Kicking into overdrive. I'm on my way back to the cockpit. Two minutes. I think something real bad is about to happen. I cannot let you do it, Seeker. You must not be allowed to reach the Churchill Tower. Did he just say the Churchill Tower? In London? It may be a she, Alana. Well, that explains what happened to Pawn 7. He must have walked in on whoever that is as they were tampering with Bishop 8's bus. Be careful, Six. This so-called officer of ours is clearly a little confused. Do you have anything to say before I end this? Come on then, do it. Pull your weapon out or get out of my way. So your MUVI will treat me as a threat and let you fire back? All okay. personnel, stay the hell off the second floor until further notice. I'm in the cockpit now. Good move, Wade. We don't want anyone getting in the crossfire. Come on! Now's your chance. Shoot me down. Prove you're nothing but a cold-blooded killer. Try to negotiate, Six. Failing that, end this by any means necessary. Eh, they're just gonna shoot you. <clears throat> no? Well, I will do what must be done then. May the light save your soul! Did it work? I think I just blew myself up. Oh shit! Her gun actually does real damage. I guess I'm used to it being on the lowest difficulty. Huh. I actually need to be careful. Okay. Shit, get out. No, no. Holy shit. Her gun actually does a lot of damage. Out of the way. I think I need to go. To oh no, right at the doors. God damn it. Hang on, B. The virus is hijacked. I don't even know where the hell she. I don't even know what the hell's happening. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> okay, well, I, I don't really care about this boss fight at all. So I think I'm just going to turn the difficulty down. I, I really don't care. It's not as if my combat skills matter in this game that it features very little combat whatsoever. Actually, can I change the difficulty? Maybe you can't. After you start the game. Hmm. Maybe... Yeah, maybe it's just set with the universe. Huh. damage from something.
Oh shit, I need more power. I don't know where she went. I'm going this way. Hang on, me. Oh shit. Who's so clever? I'm fighting it, but I'm gonna need uh, about five minutes. In the meantime, there's going to be a 7 to 12 second delay when opening doors. Watch your back! Uh, wait, can you track the traitor or not? The sensors are telling me there's bloody intruders everywhere. Oh, I'm bleeding out, aren't I? Including the cockpit. I can't tell which real. 4%. I think I'm bleeding out. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Okay, hmm. This is gonna be challenging. I'll be back when I solve this. Alright, well that took a while. <clears throat> So I attempted to fight her, and uh, it didn't work out too well. I couldn't figure out a way to do it. I tried. So I ended up going back, and instead I was a little bit nicer to Alana, so that she actually asked me if I had any any guesses as to who was the traitor. So I'm going to go the pathway where I don't have to fight her. Where I don't have to fight the traitor. Which is why I've just done this. Did someone just die? The hell was that? Funny thing, uh, while, while trying to do this pathway, I actually discovered a repeatable crash. Which, thankfully, I've gotten away from, but, uh, yeah, it definitely still has bugs. Anyway. This shouldn't work if I've done this correctly. Please, please. Bishop, hey. Uh, okay, up. good. I think we got something here. What is it, Alana? Well, the bishop suggested I follow pawn 32, and she's... <coughs> yep, she's just unlocked Bishop 8's cabin, went inside, and locked the door behind her. Patricia? It can't be. She also has some sort of device clipped under her back. Something small. I couldn't tell what it was. I'm almost back to the cockpit. Ten seconds. I can unlock the door from there. Would somebody like to let me out, please? Please? Anyone? Am I seriously fucking stuck in here? You've got to be kidding me, right? Right? I can even see the plane's wings through the sign. Look at that. That's the wing of the plane. You can see it right there. What the fuck, game? Oh my god. Okay, not all the bugs are fixed. At least it. not all the I'm major ones. In. Wade, open the door. <sighs> Belay that. You're not going in there without the bishop. <sighs> yes, sir. Mm. Is there like a no clip? I'm gonna find out if there's a no clip. I'll be right back. All right. Jesus, this has been quite the journey. I finally managed to get back here. I was all ready to do a no clip when I just figured out how to do it. But it turns out, now that I've come back here, I don't need to. It allowed me to walk right through. So, okay. I follow pawn 32, and she's... Yep, she's just unlocked Bishop 8's cabin, went inside, and locked the door behind her. Patricia? It can't be. She also has some sort of device clipped under her back. Something small. I couldn't tell what it was. I'm almost back to the cockpit. Ten seconds. I can unlock the door from there. After you. Alright, let me save. I want to... So I already know that if you don't stop her, she'll do something else. And I don't know I don't know where that thread goes, so let's you know, let's see what it does. And if I end up having to fight her as a result of that, I'm just gonna reload. Because I can't really fight her. It looks like she's altering the BUS through her VR deck. She's finishing what she started before killing Port 7. So if I just awkwardly stand back here, I'm pretty sure she will literally disappear into a puff of smoke without the smoke. Okay then. What the hell are you doing? How did you? Don't come any closer. What's that device on your back? Look, I, I can't explain it, but the bishop, he cannot be allowed to reach the Churchill Tower. You must listen to me, Alana, please. In London. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what is she doing? Her and animation. Again. What is that <laughs> on your back? Zen, initiate code 2121. 
Oh, oh bloody go. hell. Down, I just messed up all my senses and accesses. Don't stand a chance. You guys see that? That thing on her back must be a containment unit. You're probably wondering where I got a containment unit that fits into the palm of my hand. They gave it to me, Alana. They are so far more advanced than you could possibly imagine. Wait a second. Keep her talking. Um, uh, it doesn't seem like I can. Don't tell me it bugged out again. Please. Uh, I'm just gonna recycle this book. Are you kidding me? Can I just shoot her? What the hell was that, Bishop? She wasn't a threat without a BUS on! Okay. Problem solved. Or is it? Is Oh, is this still bugged? I'm actually surprised it allowed me to do it allowed me to do that. It's still bugged, isn't it? <sighs> okay, let's try that again. This time I'll, I'll try talking to her instantly, I guess? And if that doesn't work, I'll try just waiting a really, really long time. What the hell are you doing? How did you... Don't come any closer. What's that device on your back? Look, I... I can't explain it. But the bishop, he cannot be allowed to reach the Churchill Tower. You must listen to me, Alana, please. In London? What the hell are you talking about? And I ask again, what is that on your back? Zenlil, initiate code 2121. Oh, bloody hell. You're down, I just messed up all my senses and accesses. You don't stand a chance. You guys see that? That thing on her back must be a containment unit. You're probably wondering where I have a containment unit that fits into the palm of my hand. They gave it to me, Alana. They are so far more advanced than you could possibly imagine. Wait a second. Keep her talking. Please. None of you understand what he or she is. They require its death or we'll never be saved. Okay, keep her talking. She's Can I talk to her? Lost it. Can I please talk to her? Six. Ask her about her husband. They've just been married. Okay. Thank God. I think I'm through the wall. Tell me, who are they? They don't need a name, Bishop. Don't you see? They are everywhere and everything. You've got to be kidding me. So you're here to kill me because they told you to? It's more than that. They have shown me things you could not possibly understand. Our history, the future, everything we've ever known has been the construct of another world's design. You're not even Bishop Six. Patricia, please, think about what you're bloody saying. You're not making any sense. She's right batshit, she is. Well, it's been great, but I've got better things to do. You need to take her down, Six. Now. So... Bowen24 told me about the brain scan, and I quote, The bishop has an unnaturally high concentration of synaptic activity. <laughs> Do you honestly believe that's a coincidence? Kieran, what is she talking about? It is true. We ran a brain scan after you told him to come and see me. It is as Pawn32 says. I know what you're going to say. That the bishop must be playing a joke on everyone. That's probably what its superiors want you to think. But your naivety won't last forever. Alana! Six! One of you knock her out! That's an order! Wait a second, Kay. Let me try something. Okay. Come on, Patricia. This is madness. You don't want to hurt us. We don't want to hurt you. Put the gun down. 
Rook 25. Pick up your weapon or exit the room. Do it now! Bishop Six, or whatever your real name is. Do you know they are lying to you? This is all a sick game their king is playing, using you and your world like rats in a maze. Dear God, please accept me in your arms with all the warmth of the ancestors guiding light. Rook 25, pick up your weapon or exit the room. Do it now! There it is. I was wondering when it was going to appear. Uh, what the hell was that? It's all right, Seeker. Failure was never really an option. Oh my god! It's a disintegration grenade! <sighs> Why does nobody on this plane ever listen to me? Oh, you stupid, crazy bitch. There was Why'd nothing you have you to go and do that for? for? She was too far gone. I know, damn it. I know, I just... She was an excellent officer. She was. And now she'll forever be known as the pawn who killed a fellow officer before taking the coward's way out. <clears throat> I guess to say we're having a bad day would be a <laughs> understatement at this point. So I guess the consortium isn't so powerful after all. Do you want to be here or not? You sure do have a strange attitude for someone who practically begged to be considered for your position. I never begged for anything. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You're here now, so let's make the best of it. Tell me why you put so much trust into the king. We all do, Six. And you need to learn to do the same. If we can't trust the king, then what's the point in believing what the Consortium stands for? And what does the Consortium stand for? Is that some kind of joke? It's not funny. Wade, patch my CMC into the ship's loudspeaker. I've had quite enough fun for one day. Okay, you're on. Attention everyone. Attention. Today has been a long and difficult day for all of us. And I find myself humbled to have a crew as dedicated and brave as the men and women on this ship. While the day may have been long, unfortunately it is not yet over. I am now issuing the security protocol X-03. All pawn personnel will report immediately to the barracks until further notice. This is for everyone's safety until we touch ground in Ireland. Thank you. You can't seriously be thinking of locking them in there. That's the plan, yes. Do you have a better idea to help prevent more of our crew members from dying or killing each other? Because I'm all ears if you do. It was Pawn 32. She was responsible for everything. Helping Kieran, planting the virus, killing Pawn 7. All of it. You're treating them like prisoners. And it's frankly disgusting. Alana, don't push me right now. Excuse me! You can't deny that you've been making some pretty bad decisions today. Don't do this. Yeah, she's right. There's been one bad decision after another today. Oh, good. The new bishop here really does have a brain. I really don't like reminding my crew that this technically is not a democracy. They'll stay in the barracks. Hey, hey. Come on, people. Reality check. Home, We're not out of this yet. Can we maybe save the petty arguments for after we touch ground? <sighs> You're right. Seeker. Wait. How close are you to fixing these bloody lights? Oh, give me some credit. I've got this virus by the balls now that it's shown us its ass. Very colorful. Thanks. <laughs> we'll be on your oh, that one. Seeker. All right. So first, B. I can't power down the system because there's a chip missing from the battery crawl control bank. I bet a million bucks Pawn32 took it before she started messing around with the bus. Look around the cabin. It has to be there. Okay, mate. Now take that chip to the battery crawl and plug it into the control bank there. The battery crawl is accessible from the hangar bay and the galley. In the hangar bay, it's the hatch on the second level directly underneath the CCU. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Um... <laughs> Well, we have ourselves a stowaway in the upper crawl. A stowaway? You are surrounded One of Angelo's men. And consortium <laughs> Yeah. Spotted him the second census came back up. 
And I can smell him from here, so I can only assume he's one of Angelov's. A stowaway? I'm not detecting any weapon signature, and I've locked down both sides of his position. So he's not going anywhere until we say so? Six, you're up again. Wait a second, Kay. The bishop has had enough merc fun for today. Let me handle this one. <laughs> all right, why not? He's all yours. A stowaway. I wonder where that, wonder that storyline's gonna go. Interesting. Now, uh, how do I get there? Can you use the elevator? No. Ah, here we go. Are you ready to return home, Seeker? No, I don't think I am, creepy voice. But you're not gonna tell me about the chicken this time and how delicious it is or whatever you said before? Alright. Mmm, I need to go down here, don't I? Wait a minute. It's just right in here, isn't it? Yeah. That'll do the trick. I need to reset some lesser systems. So we're gonna lose lights for a few seconds. Sounds good. Do it. We'll back up and everything is in the green. The virus is gone. I hope. Good work. I think we can all breathe a little easier now. <laughs> Well, our upper crawl friend has started talking to himself. I'll patch him through the CMC. You've got to listen to this. You are consortium. You must help me. When the bishop killed Angelov, I I had no choice but to hide here. My life is in danger, don't you see? The others, the ones you let go, they will be dead before the day is out. Please, you must grant me asylum. Asylum? Well, that's no fun, is it? Give him whatever he wants. Just get him to the brig. All right, wait. Release the lock. I've got him and we're coming out. Be careful. Maybe you should meet me in the brig after all, Bishop. I'll bring him down in the elevator, but I want you to be there when we actually cage him. He's surrendering, but he's also terrified. Roger that. Uh, I guess I need to get down there. Maybe not the best way, but I don't care. Just get in there. This isn't over. Not by a long shot. Spoken like a true bad guy. You can't offer us anything useful. All right, our stowaway is in the brig. Was he much trouble? Nah, he's too scared to cause a problem. Well, where is that privacy button? I saw it on a Newswire special report one time. Well, I'll be damned. Hey, uh, guys. I think the virus may have tampered with our local newswire connection. There's a channel that wasn't there an hour ago, and yet it's most voted over the past three hours. There's some seriously strange stuff going on in London right now. Oh, gods. Let me guess. The Churchill Tower. You've got it. And we've also got a second incoming TS packet from London. This is not happening. Let me patch the newswire broadcast through the whole ship. Just a sec. If this freak thunder snowstorm wasn't enough for one day. It's hard to believe that an unknown number of armed terrorists have taken control of the Churchill Tower. First reports are sketchy but conclusive, and I assure you this is no prank. Voice and image recognition have confirmed. The leader of the Hoshes Takers is none other than Saad Bin Laden. I assure you again, this is no joke. Saad Bin Laden you'll remember, was thought to have been killed almost 15 years ago during one of the final American raids against Al-Qaeda. Your guess is as good as mine, folks, and all I can tell you right now is to stay by the newswire. The instant I know more, you will too. This is Malcolm Thomas, reporting from London, England, just outside the Churchill Tower. Thought to have been killed. Saad was killed, shot through the heart. I know an American bloke who was there when it happened. Don't you guys realize? Patricia knew. She said the bishop cannot reach the Churchill Tower. You don't think... No, Alana. I can assure you that the King will not be sending us to London. We've had enough excitement for one day. 
Yeah, uh, well, I had to be the bringer of disappointment, but... Don't you dare say it, Wade. I've just been given a course change from the King. We're headed for the center of London. Seriously? Does he not know what we've been through today? Tell him to send Tiamat. Everyone knows Night Eleven loves these types of missions. No joke, Alana. Five minutes till mission briefing. Come on, Kay. Do something. This isn't right. Okay, everyone. You heard, Wade. Meet in the hollow room on the double. Briefing in five. So, everyone's just going to ignore me now? A bloody Bin Laden in London? This isn't just insane, it's some sort of practical joke. It has to be. Alana, today is proving to be full of surprises. You should really learn to roll with the punches. Shut up, Kieran. Should be. Hello. There we Seeker. go. Yes, I know it's you. I understand Interdimensional Games has created a video game from your trips to this world, even calling it Consortium. Are you familiar with what they call their alternate reality game? Do you know who I am? Let's see if I can piss off King. Hmm. I knew the King, but that's all I know. I told Vidal it was a mistake to open this connection to the uninitiated. This game you call Consortium was a mistake. And your rift should only be accessed by those prepared to better this world through informed action. Ah, but it's hard keeping the game lore straight. <sighs> my childhood. My fragile development stage. Reduced to an ancillary alternate reality game. Full of game lore. Your world certainly is a strange one. You're kind of freaking me out here, dude. Sorry, it's not your fault. You're only having fun playing a game. It is IDGI who should be ashamed for reducing this connection to a product. The, the IDGI-1 satellite is not a toy, nor is Bishop-6. <clears throat> well, I suppose we shouldn't keep the others waiting too much longer. <clears throat> okay, now we've really got to get to work. And don't even think about trying to get out of this. You can either disconnect right now or suck it up and help save the world. The choice is yours. Lots of awkward silence there, I said. Did I manage to make King hate me? Yes, I did. Minus 13. I don't remember seeing that many minuses. I saw a minus 4 and then a plus 1, but I don't remember seeing any others. Oh my god, Alana. Minus 28. Oh boy. Six, go ahead and take a seat. We'll be getting started soon. <clears throat> All right, everyone. The king tells me he's ready for us. Zen, display priority consortium signal, authorization code 7383 alpha. 70 holidays, everyone. So, let's hear it then. Why us? Stormbird or Tiamat should be given this one. We're in no condition to be handling a mission like this. Elana, let him talk. Rook 25, I can only ask that you be patient. And trust me, you should also know that I have personally reviewed all of your CMC records, with nothing of note found. And I am told X03 is in effect. I'll just be silent on this one. I don't like it, but you've never steered us wrong before. I can't believe you'd start now, no matter how insane this all is. Thank you, Rook 25. Now, before I get into the details of this operation, I've decided to bring in another Rook to remotely aid you. Not only can his political knowledge be helpful, but he also has personal ties with what is occurring in London. One, one moment. moment. Some, Some of you already know Rook 3. James Lensworth! Sorry, Rook 3. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise! I thought you'd been abducted. I haven't heard a word in months. Hello, Taryn. Certainly been a while. Things have been pretty crazy up here lately. 
disarming Strawman and Global was a real bitch of a job. I've been meaning to connect. Are you all right? What is going on? I'm fine. One minute I'm T.O. in my quarters, and the next I'm being dragged here by my assistant. Uh... Wait, you crazy bastard. I can't believe they keep giving you the keys to that bucket. Wait a minute, Wade is supposed to be... <laughs> Wade is supposed to be sitting right there. He's talking right now, but he's not actually here, so I can't hear him. <laughs> Bishop, Awkward. I still don't know what in the pits is going on. But it sounds like you saved some lives. There's a lot of goddamn good people on that plane, so nice work. Hell of a first day. Do you have to be so vulgar? We've already got Wade for that. Excuse me? What did you just say, you little maggot? <clears throat> you see, unlike Wade's fun-loving vulgarity, Lensworth here is just a mean old bastard. There's Wade talking right now. How's Darcy been anyway? She's fine, thanks. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's actually been living in London for the past year or so. Doing well for herself. Oh, bugger. I'm... I'm sorry. What? What's going on? How long have you been sleeping? I don't know, five, maybe six hours? Why? Somebody better tell me something. I will explain. Please, we are running low on time. The Churchill Tower, built over the River Thames, near the financial district of London, England. Oh, God. Did the damn thing blow up? No, Rook 3. From what we can so far ascertain, your daughter Darcy and the other hostages have been unharmed. Hostages? Is this some kind of bad joke? I know my birthday is coming up again. No joke. Not like last year. I will explain everything. Now, as I was saying, the Churchill Tower is the second tallest building in the world, standing at 840 meters and consisting of 208 floors, including those below ground. The top 43 floors are in mid-construction and will soon be a five-star hotel. A partially constructed roof will thus supply several safe landing zones for our bishop to aim for. No offense to anyone present, but I'd like to request Bishop 10 for this mission. He'd get my dossier out of that nuke and waiting without breaking a sweat. Bishop 6 will get her back, Rook 3. I can promise you that. Uh-huh. If you say so. Hmm. <laughs> Just breathe, Seeker. Breathe. A walk in the park. At least if it's not some elaborate trap. And if it is some elaborate trap, then you'll fight your way through it. Either way, you can always just load your game if you happen to die, right? What we are mostly concerned with is what lies between the hotel and the businesses below. A currently unknown number of armed soldiers have seized this section of the building. The Churchill Tower Power Facility, specifically where Rook 3's daughter Darcy Lensworth is employed. British authorities have given us control of the situation, and we've been asked to handle things as swiftly as possible. Sir, the newswire says these so-called terrorists are led by Saad bin Laden. How is that possible? Clearly, American intelligence over the death of bin Laden was incorrect. Someone is luring us, and we're playing right into it like a bunch of amateurs. It's Bishop 2 all over again. Unless you have something useful to add, Alana, please be quiet. But she's right. This whole mission is a joke. Thank you, Bishop. If we send him into that tower, we are signing his bloody death warrant. And for what? For my daughter. What is there to discuss? You're going in, Bishop, because it's what we pay you to do. I understand your repeated and numerous frustrations, both of you. I really do. But Rook 3 is correct, except he goes in because I say he goes in. Voice and image analysis have confirmed that their leader is in fact Osama Bin Laden's son. Here is his statement of their demands, as passed to us by British authorities. I'll let it speak for itself. Allahu Akbar wal Lillah. Laqad hurshilna nahnu huna. في 
مهمة جهادية مقدسة لوضع حد للخيانة والخداع الذي يمارسه الغرب على شعوبنا فقد وصلتنا بحمد الله وعونه معلومات عن نظام ايصال للسلاح الكيميائي في اكس واي الذي يتم تطويره على منشآت مبنية فوق اراضينا نحن لقتل ملايين المسلمين حتى على الرغم من توقيع اتحاد امريكا الشمالية على معاهدة حظر اسلحة الدمار الشامل المجموعة التي تم القبض عليها هم مهندسو وفنيي هذا المشروع الاستعماري للاتحاد وهم شركاء في الجريمة ايضا اتبعوا تعليماتنا ونفذوا طلبنا لنفرج عنهم وان تجاهلتم طلباتنا سوف نضيقهم غضب الله الشديد الله اكبر Oh wow, a VXY delivery system, a holy crusade, NAU conspiracies, are suffering the wrath of God? And when did people start becoming infidels again? For all intent and purpose, Bin Laden and the men fighting for him should not exist. We also have no idea why they believe a VXY delivery system is being developed on site, and this makes them highly dangerous. Clearly, disinformation is involved. But the threat is real. So, if it's not a weapon, can we assume someone else let them into the tower for another reason? To lure us would be my first guess? <laughs> Maybe. These sons of bitches are just stupid and have bad information. I'm only exploring all possibilities. It sounds to me like you're only running your mouth and clouding the issue. Hey, both of you, shut up and let the king speak. I didn't say anything. Wait for it. Kay, look, I'm not about to take this bureaucrat's high-handed garbage for an entire mission. Relax, Boyle. Alana, you need to accept the situation and let us move forward. Right now. I'm... I'm sorry. Again. I guess I haven't exactly been looking forward to this visit with my dad. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about that anymore, do I? Oh, you're making me cry. Alana, don't. Just don't. Thank you, Night 15. British police, of course, have been explaining to this Bin Laden how ridiculous his claim is. To no avail. It, it is time for action. Bishop, I know this is your first real mission, but I want the terrorists subdued and the hostages rescued by the numbers. This means following your knight's instructions to the letter. I'm not touching this one. You're all insane. And that's Wade? Of course we're insane, mate. We're consortium officers. Bishop Six, you do not have a choice. And you would be surprised what I can make you do. Knight Fifteen, I will leave the remaining details in your capable hands. Good luck, everyone. And I've got some catching up to do. I'll see y'all at Mission Star. All right. So, we've only got a few minutes till drop time. Brooks, I want you to start prepping by studying schematics and all the other background data that's been supplied to us. I'll be in my office doing the same. Uh, boss? That homeless merc we found has removed the privacy shield on his cell. And he's asking for the bishop. Bishop, maybe before you head over to the hangar bay, you could go and speak to him in the brig. You may as well see what you can find out. Okay. Just make sure you have enough time to gear up in the hangar bay before it's time to jump. So I can talk with him just like I could talk with Kirill before. Also, I just noticed a cool detail. The storm that I end up jumping into, you can actually see it brewing right now. Neat. Let's go talk to this guy. I feel like this should... Oh. I was going to say, I feel like this should be open, and then it opened. But I think it opened because she went through it? Or... I... Yeah, what the fuck? Might have to no-clip through that or something. I don't know. Actually, I don't think I need to go back there. Make a perma save before something else goes horribly wrong. 
What am I on? Save eight? I'll go with nine just to be safe. Bishop, can we talk? Please. You know I never wished you any harm. I, well, Kirill and my brother Yanko, they stirred the others into a frenzy. I never even fired a bullet, I swear. Right, big guy, Bulgarian. Flight jacket on? Nope, I did not kill him. You probably should have. Since you've killed Angelov and now captured me, he will not rest until revenge is had. He can be stubborn. Is that it? Be quiet, Pon. You spit nothing but lies and deceit. What? You are a coward and a traitor. Bishop, please. I do not want to cause any more trouble. Who the hell are you talking to? What what pawn? There's no one else here, man. Okay, so why didn't you help Carol and your brother? I don't know. I ran away when I saw that you were trying to kill Angelov. I was scared, Bishop. You wouldn't understand. So, you're a coward? I am just a man, not a bishop like you. And this was a suicide mission to begin with. I will not stubbornly hold my pride above my own survival. You know I'm not really a bishop. Admit it. I... I... Uh, what? I know that you are a new bishop. Is that what you mean? Do you know anything about me from before I was a bishop? Era, I heard about some Canadian conflict you were a part of. The Quebec Separatist negotiations. They say you and the consortium prevented the war. Yes? That is all I know. Kirill was once making fun of you. I've said enough and you're not making me very happy. How about you come and get me when it's time for my slap on the wrist? Oh, and regardless of what happens next, Thank you again for telling me the fate of my brother. Now, get yourself to the hangar bay and prepare for your jump. All right. It's all set to go. Just plug yourself in here and stock up. Once you choose, there's no going back until you return mm -hmm. to Zendin. Oh, mm -hmm. and make sure to grab a free fall suit or you know you're not going to So, Bishop, once you're sure you have let me know and get you off this boat. So, are you ready yet? Mm-hmm. Good. Okay, sir. You stopped up and ready to break heads. We're already in a circling pattern around the Churchill Tower. Open the hangar bay door and wait for Wade's order. Bishop, be careful and avoid getting shot. Do not wish to see you in the med bay once this is over. Good. I don't wish to see you ever again. Ave 10. We're in position. Holding just above most of the storm. I should be able to keep it steady for your job. <laughs> there we go. If I can have everyone's attention for a minute. I wanted to say a few quick words before we get down to business. Oh, it's speech time again. <laughs> yes, well, it is. There is no question that we have all been put to the ultimate test today. And in my mind, we have so far succeeded brilliantly. The King is asking for our blind trust and patience with this Churchill Tower debacle. And I, for one, am ready to give it to him. Now, we may not all agree with our new bishop's position here with us. In fact, some of you even believe he is to blame for all our troubles. But, the fact is, he has gotten us this far, and he is a consortium bishop. He is one of ours, and I for one refuse to point fingers and throw blame around. Hello, folks. Almost Christmas, and all the children are eagerly awaiting the Seeker's arrival. Throughout most of the UK, there will be all officers to operations, followed by 20 centimeters of snow. Here at home, we're facing one hell of a storm front. Early this morning at the port of Felixstown, 
21 workers were found dead in the cargo container ship. The ship had initiated auto docking procedures, and emergency nice. personnel on site reported as finding no Much survivors better. aboard. Not so sorry to wake you, Bishop. Dead. We thought you should know about Nothing our further, little including cause escort. of death and origin of the vessel had been released. You guys see that? Ooh, huh? That one was a little close. But you have nothing to worry about. We'll run a full body scan. Just to be sure. Okay. Now what the hell was that? Two near hits in a row. I'm running a diagnostic. That was different from before. Oh my god. His suit. Well now. Who the hell are you? Hello, Karen. Just sit down and don't get in my way. I'm here for him, not you. Why don't you show us the traitor behind that voice? Find something and recycle it. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. Shut up and sit down. I'm detecting conductive elements in the bishop's freefall suit. Car 32 must have reprogrammed the damn CCU output. Just hang in there. I'm not about to lose you after everything we've been through today. So, are you ready yet? Not to get us all killed. Back up the connection. Quantum limbo. Interesting, that time I didn't have the encounter with the guy in the blue room. Or, no, actually the white room, the blue, the, the blue guy in the white room. I wonder exactly what triggers that. Huh. Alright, well let's look at the summary of my absolutely horrible playthrough. Okay. After acting strange in conversation, Rook 25 suggested you go and see Rook 13, the doctor, to ensure you're doing okay. As Rook 25 suggested, you went to the medical bay and a brain scan was performed on you. It resulted in highly unusual readings. When confronted by Kirill Angelov and his homeless mercenaries, you managed to infuriate Angelov enough to have him forcefully board Zenlil with a contingent of his men. A firefight broke out where Angelov was killed in combat by you. During the homeless mercenary encounter, Pawn 1 was killed by experimental weapons fire. You told Rook 13 that you were not a member of the Guardian Church. Upon investigating the crew about Pawn 7's murder, Pawn 4 made mention of something called Farewell My Lovely as being a clue. You did not discover what he meant. You met the Consortium Queen and decided to tell her about the brain scan and the fact that you are from another world. Even though Rook 13 confirmed it, the Queen decided you were merely playing a trick on the crew and ended the meeting abruptly. On your way to the virtual trainer, Pawn64 approached you and pleaded for a minute of your time. You did not give him that minute. You completed at least level 5 in the virtual trainer's civilian defense scenario. Rogue25 asked you who she should keep an eye on as potentially Pawn7's murderer. You guessed. Right. You confronted Pawn32, and after a short discussion, she committed suicide with a disintegration grenade. Wade discovered a stowaway homeless mercenary hiding in the upper crawl. It turns out he hid there after seeing you kill Kirill Angelov. Rook 25 escorted him to the brig without incident. You went to the brig and spoke with the stowaway homeless mercenary. You voluntarily jumped from Zenlil and Bishop Six was possibly killed in the process. Someone may have sabotaged his freefall suit. Let's see. Each strike allowed you to 
momentarily perceive past events from your experience, or even experience alternative possible past. Uh-huh. That's all the flashes I got. And there we go. So that was my absurd playthrough. <laughs> And uh, it was, aside from the horrible technical issues that I encountered again, uh, it was a hell of a lot of fun. It's a bit stressful to be a complete dick to people when I don't really want to be, but it was interesting to see all the different results. It was surprising how many people still liked me, despite me intentionally trying to be as bad of a person as I could. Of course, some people just really didn't like Alana Boyle, hated me so much, she freaking hates me. But... Yeah, a lot of people surprisingly still liked me. Even Wade. Seems like there's no, basically no way to piss him off. So, like I said before, I do intend to do some more research about the lore into this game, and then maybe do another playthrough. Although I'm thinking... I don't know, after seeing... Like, I made radically different decisions there. And it made significant changes in what happens, but... In general, most of the events were basically the same. Even though people obviously feel very differently about me than they did before. Still, the events were pretty much the same. So I don't know if I'm going to do a full playthrough again. I'm not sure. Maybe. But there's definitely a very good chance I'll come back and at least make another video talking about the lore or something like that. That's my intention anyway. No promises, but that's my intention. But I'm going to wait a little bit for that. Probably. Got to do some research, not to mention, as you can see, this game does still have, unfortunately, some game-breaking bugs. Although the ones this time definitely were not as bad as the first time I played, where I just couldn't even finish the game. But still, it could definitely use some more work, unfortunately. I really thought they were fixed. Because my second playthrough actually went, aside from one medium size issue it actually went pretty damn smoothly hmm so anyway I hope you enjoyed and I will probably be back soon